Saturday. It's a good day. Got all my stuff done earlier today. Most of my stuff done. There's more to do. But really, that's fine. Um, I have a variety of things in front of me right now. You guys can't see it. I have tried desperately to make my kitchen seem as clean as possible. Um, hopefully you all are having a good weekend. Hi, Jade. Um, but yes, so today I wanted to give it another whirl with making something gluten-free, but actually doing something gluten-free and not pretending to do something gluten-free like the brownies from last time. So today I'm going to be making a cinnamon roll cake. It's going to be gluten-free. Uh, and then I also have a metric ton of potato chips. I went to Little Tokyo and I got, oh boy. Thank you, Solo Snake, for subscribing. Aw, happy two months. I don't know what to call like a, a, a anniversary on this channel yet. Happy, <laughs> happy, I don't want to say happy boobiversary because that's <laughs> probably not going to work. That's not appropriate. Let's find something else. Uh, but yes, I have all these um, Japanese like potato chips that are uh, import. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different flavors. So my thought is uh, that I'm going to make the base of the cake, uh, um, snack on some chips, make the uh, topping for the cake, and then have more chips. <laughs> really, I just want to eat potato chips. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I had like some breakfast, but that was like kind of it. Um, but yes, that is the plan currently. And I'll go over the variety of flavors of these later on uh, because they are not in English and you won't be able to read them. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna be also, yeah, Cheetos. There's, there's, there's so many options here today. Um, but yes, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, uh, uh. One day I'm gonna have space to actually set everything down. Uh, yes, oh yeah, fair warning. These food streams, have your snacks. Have your food on hand and with you because I'm gonna make you really hungry. And I don't mean to, but Food is great, and it's going to happen! I need to turn that down. That is so loud for me. Also, my mic, it, ugh, my mic is probably picking that up. Uh, I'm going to move a couple of things around to see if I can um, get this to be... Oh, I really can't, huh? Hmm. Hopefully that's not... Is that like a really loud thing for you guys too? Like, does it pick up double? I don't really know how that works. I don't want to blast you guys into infinity. Um, but to get things started, let me see if I can pop up my chat because that would really help me a lot right now. It would help, but it's not going to let me. So that's great. You know what? We'll just, we'll just do this. We'll just make this very small and I can still see my chat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I like this. This is good. Wait, uh-oh, I did him. oopsies. Oh, crumbles. That's my swear words, apparently. Crumbles? Okay, so to save myself some stress, I have already, oh my God, I'm clicking every tab. One day I'm gonna have multiple monitors. It's gonna be great. Um, gosh darn, tickle, dangle, freaking blah. <laughs> I make you hungry. Okay, it's not bad. The phone. Uh, wow, what a coincidence. I've also been eating gluten-free food, Kate, mostly because I've been diagnosed with celiac. Oh, then yeah, definitely be eating gluten-free. <laughs> Mamba, hi, thank you for that host. Um, yes, so to save myself some stress and not wanting to forget ingredients like I did last time, I put all of my ingredients out. I have my recipe up and in front of me. Um, the oven is on. We have preheated. I'm pretty on top of it right now. I even have my bowls out and I don't have my measuring cups, but they're right here. So that's not that bad. So I, I'm going to put the recipe in here so that those of you that want to try more, um, want to try more gluten-free recipes, you can try that out. I didn't hit enter. Now I hit enter. There you go. Um, Golly. No. Oh my gosh, I almost hit a thing. I didn't know you were playing a horror game. Um, 
Fair warning for those of you that don't know this about me, pretty much all notifications scare me. It's going to happen. I don't, I'm not frustrated with anyone. It's just a thing. I'm very easily startled, especially when I'm like trying to like keep track of all the stuff. And then it's just like, ah, oh, random thing is occurring. Um, so yes. All right. So I'm going to try. I'm also sending the recipe to everyone so that if I mess up, you guys can be like, Caitlin, you missed a step. <laughs> um, but I'm not relying on that. I'm going to get this. It's going to be great. And I'm going to get my nine by 13 glass baking pan out right now, right now. And I'm going to spray it so I don't forget. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my God. It's fine. <laughs> okay. We have our pan. Oh boy. Mamba. <laughs> you missed a step. I did not. I preheated the oven. This is my pan. I have it. It's here. I'm going to spray it with cooking spray since, I mean, I feel like I could put butter in instead. I'm going to do that. I've washed my hands like a thousand times. So before anyone freaks out, I have washed my hands. No, no, no Navi Jade for Caitlin. Not yet. Nice. Share us some food while you're at it. I would love to share food. Guys, I love having events. I love having tea parties. I love, I love making food for people. I don't do it as often lately, but really it's just because I'm busy out of my dang mind and I can't think. But normally I love doing this. Um, and so streaming is kind of my way that I get to cook with people. And normally it's my neighbors, uh, my neighbors that end up eating most of what I make. Not too much, because uh, butter will burn. Yes, no, I'm only lining the pan a little bit. Um, I'm just greasing the pan with it, because otherwise it wants me to do cooking spray, but it tastes just a little bit better when you put butter. But that's like kind of a given for everything. Everything tastes a little bit better when you put butter in it. And hey, if I can't have flour, I'm gonna put butter on it, because there has to be some joy in life. Watch me be lactose intolerant. Then I'll be really sad. All right, I have greased my baking tray. It is off to the side. We don't need it for a bit. I'll try not put that on that heat stream that's coming out. Okay, large bowl, flour, xanthan gum, which I have. Um, I only say that because it's something that you have to buy separately. So this is a gluten-free all-purpose baking flour. Um, I got the Bob's Red Mill. This one actually asked for the Pillsbury one, but I don't have that. So um, we recommend that you add xanthan gum. Okay, because in the recipe it says to add xanthan gum if you don't have it. Um, but I don't have it, so I'm going to add some. This is the xanthan gum. It is very fine. I doubt that you'll be able to see it, um, but it is like a super fine powder. Yeah, that's gonna be very hard to see. It's a very, very fine powder. You can kind of see in how it's like separating inside the bag. It's very, um, it's almost like gelatin powder a little bit. That's what it reminds me of. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Got my bowl. Very exciting stuff. Um, they say to do the spoon method with um, putting in your gluten-free flour. And I assume that's because you don't want it to pack down because it would. Are you saying tea tastes better when you put butter in it? There is a thing called butter tea and it is really good actually. <laughs> uh, like seafood fried rice. Oh my gosh, you're gonna snap more food off and threaten the viewers. I mean, potato chips, they snap. I might, I'm not gonna say I won't. Put butter in everything. Uh, oh, butter cake, Bulma. I mean, uh, <laughs> boobs are quite wrong. Still wanna make main, low main. I just didn't even see the low. More food threats, yeah! That's the same thing that I should do in, on a stream where it can be clipped. Okay, so basically I'm gonna put everything but the melted butter. And then that'll be the very end of that. Wow, I feel like this is gonna go a lot quicker than I'm ready for. Okay, three cups of this, the gluten-free flour. What a precise thing. Wow, why do I bake when it says that you need to have like precision with alert notifications that can scare the shit out of me? 
and <laughs> make me drop this shit. Uh, that was not an invitation. Just musing to myself that that's probably not in my better interest, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. Do you guys bake very much? Is it is it something that you've? I know in in with all of the. Uh, um, wow, brain words. With the quarantine, a lot of people have been um, spending a lot more time in the kitchen making things. Um, but everyone does things differently. Some people um, are spending more time outdoors, going to parks, going on trails. Um, food has been, for me, a good comfort because um, food is, you know, what keeps you alive and nourished. And um, in the before times, I really enjoyed making food for other people. And I'm, I think trying to reclaim some of that um, love that I used to have for making food for people. Because I don't do it as much anymore. Which, it is a, it's a time thing. Especially here where nothing is close. <laughs> nothing is close by. I'm not doing the exact specifications that this thing is asking for. Um... It's, it, it, it tells you that you're supposed to spoon it in and then take a knife and then over the top. Um, but this is decently close. I'm more concerned about the alerts more than the recipe. When I bake when I'm in the mood, all I heard is more bits to scare. I mean, yeah, that is, that is correct. That is a true thing. What you do with your life and your bits is your business. If you want to share them with me, that is fine and dandy. But I do not expect it. I really don't expect it. Did you mean you wanted more <laughs> jump scare bits? Wow, that timing could not have been better, Talon. Thank you for that. Wow, this thing like barely has three cups of flour in it. Uh, the only thing that makes me a little sad about gluten-free stuff it is it's very difficult to eat. <laughs> it's very difficult to eat. And I'm sure, um, who was it was saying they had celiac? Please remind me. Uh, wait, what? Been having more time playing video games? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Scary notifications are fine. Hey, sad worm. How you doing? Um, we're just, uh, the, the description says it all, but I am doing my best to make some a gluten-free cinnamon roll cake, and we're gonna be eating some potato chips. I'm just making a mess. Also, I'm realizing a little late that I chose the wrong size bowl. It's all in the dry stuff, so you know what? I'm just gonna... Too small? Hopefully big enough. Yes. Mm, that is like super powdery fine. It's almost like potato starch or something. We're making rolls. We're actually making cake. We're making a cinnamon roll cake um, with gluten-free flour. Um, I posted the recipe once up there. Um, if, if you guys really want it, I will post it up again. I, I actually have it up in front of me this time so that I can't fail it as easy. Teach us how to roll the cinnamons. I can't. Felicia Angel is playing art. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, B, 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 B. A spring anime called... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that. A friend has celiacs, and she tried to learn a lot of recipes to avoid feeling sick. Yeah. The feel when Caitlin is streaming notification doubles as it's sunrise. Go the fuck to sleep, you moron. Oh, no. Well, don't stay up on my account. Please take care of yourself. Get plenty of rest. Be good to your body, you know? Because it's hard enough to do normally. But I also understand staying up late and wanting to hang out and that kind of thing. Hi, Shine Greymon. Worst type of food to cook in a zombie apocalypse? Croissant, probably. Any, any kind of detail work, like a pastry, like a French pastry or something. To me, that would be the absolute worst thing to deal with during all of this. I need half teaspoon. For the xanthan gum. That's a tablespoon. Very different. Fourth of a teaspoon. You know what? That could work. It's 
just so large. That's what she said. <laughs> half teaspoon. All right. One and a half teaspoons. So if this is a half teaspoon, then we... Flour is optional. You've got fluorescent writing. Lighting. <laughs> That's almost the same. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay. I'm going to try and like drop some of this in front of the thing. Do you see... Do you see how it like... It looks almost sandish and it powders, which is very interesting to me. <laughs> I really should be doing the knife stuff. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna see how it goes. So I need to do three of these. Two. Um, a fourth teaspoon of salt. I have this like little, we keep the, the containers from the curry and use them uh, for storage. It's been very convenient. Fourth. I'm so proud of myself for like <laughs> having all of this out in advance because last time it was just a nightmare trying to get everything done. I agree with Mamba about a souffle would be the hardest thing to make. Oh yeah, uh, a souffle would be by far the worst. Um, let's see, cup of sugar. We're getting there. Cause it said to mix everything. I can't wait to get a tattoo. It's gonna be a bayou bear. <gasps> What's a bayou bear? What's a bayou bear? I just had a moment of thinking that this might be salt and then panicked, but it's fine. I'm actually surprised at the amount of um, flour versus sugar. I feel like there's normally more sugar in cake, but you know, I'm happy to be wrong. Just means I get to be a little less guilty about eating it. Yeah, that's correct. A little over, but. Baking is a science. I'm gonna topple it over the top and it's gonna be fine. No one's gonna care, except the cake. Uh, four teaspoons of, of powder, baking powder. It says gluten-free, but I already have baking powder, so that's what we're gonna do. Teaspoon, all right. Hello, Dougler. Hydrate, oh my God, I haven't had any water. Thank you for reminding me. She can hydrate the cake. Baking it is a scientific art. One that I'm not particularly great at, but you know what? I'm gonna do my best. All right, baking powder. It calls for four teaspoons. Baking powder, double checking. We're good. Two, three, Four. All right. We just have a big old bowl of dry ingredients right now. Super appetizing. You want to stick your tongue in it and make all of it stick and be like, this tastes awful. Um, let's see. Two eggs. A cup and a half of milk. I started getting um, the free range eggs and it kind of ruined me a little bit for what eggs are supposed to taste like. Because you know in a lot of um, Japanese cooking videos, you always see like a really beautiful orange yolk. And that's just not a thing in normal grocery store eggs. It's just really not. Um, let's see. Beep, beep, beep. Gluten free flour is in them. Okay, so I'm literally just putting everything in but the butter until everything but the butter. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's a Native American tradition. Grandfathers and grandchildren get to symbolize the, the bond between grandfather and grandchild. Wait, what did I miss? What did Jade say? Oh, oh, that's so lovely. Think of a croc coming out of the water and put a bear instead. Oh, that's cool. Natchez? I don't know about, I don't know very much about, um, like indigenous tribes 
Is that the proper terminology? I don't honestly know because I'm very unaware of, of all of that, but I'm fascinated by it, but I don't know much about it. Oh, I'm also going to need, you know what? I'm going to do a whisk because that's the best way to combine things, I think. Or should I be folding this? You know what? A whisk is fine. We need a cup and a half. Cup. I don't know why I got out two gallons for this. Bleep. Oh, wow. That's actually already like a really, a really pretty, like off white color. It makes me like the kind of yellowy color of it makes me think of, um, like I'm already thinking cinnamon rolls just looking at it. <laughs> I haven't had cinnamon rolls in years. So needless to say, I am unequivocally excited about this. Um, and then I need my two eggs. <gasps> See that? See that? That little, this little shell? That's where we're at right now. <laughs> when I worked in a kitchen a long time ago, I used to have to crack like, I can't even tell you how many, oh my God. Smitha, thanks for the host. It's gonna crumble out of me. Um, I used to have to crack like, four or five dozen eggs every day. So I actually got to the part or to the point where I could um, crack them one handed. But you know, when you're on a stream and distracted, you, you fuck everything up. All right, what else do we need? How shellfish of you. <laughs> Robbie Damon either has either Apache or Hoppy in his blood. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm not just Native American, also Thai, German, and Honduras. That's so cool. I use Native American, but some favor American Indian. I've heard first people, um, I've heard a lot of different things. When we really weirded out, Europeans don't clean the eggs off and just leave them out on the counter. I, it's a possibility. Oh, Talon, you big old sweetie. Thank you for those uh, tier one gift subs, dude. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. You're, you're supporting <laughs> me buying baking supplies, basically. That's basically what I spend stream money on is like trying out new recipes. Oh my God. Oh wait. Yo, no, that does not work in the batter. <laughs> the eggshell. Uh, similar German, French, either Irish or Scottish. I can't remember which. And Cherokee. How many heads did you crack in the kitchen? I don't want to say. That might get me in trouble. I currently work at McDonald's and I can't tell you how many eggs that I crack each day. Oh my goodness gravy. <laughs> Someone say, sub bomb. Seems about right. Well, there goes the boom. Oh my Lord. I feel when Caitlin gets spooked while saying a thing. <laughs> That's basically my face, yeah. Um, I could use a mixer for this. Oh my Lord. You got some low jacked or something third? You logged on like five minutes after I leave the house. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to mix this very carefully. This bowl, I, I picked the largest glass bowl that I have and it is still like barely large enough. And I could put the, the like electronic mixer in there, but that makes me very nervous. Like very nervous. The anime Food Wars is fan service for cooks. Oh, I know. I love that show. I haven't watched through all of it yet, but I love the concept of it. How are we doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm waiting for something to drop in the batter again, because we've already done that once. Um, I'm doing all right. It's been, uh, my hair is all done and I have makeup on because I was doing a self-tape audition for on-camera stuff earlier today. Um, and now I'm making some baked goods with you all which is how I honestly love to spend my Saturdays. I wish that time wasn't so crazy lately so that this could be more often of a thing because I really enjoy it. 
I actually never made udon noodles without help. You made noodles before though. Are you making this for yourself or someone else? Well, I, I like wanted to try and actually, <laughs> since I made those brownies last time, tried to make those brownies last time and they ended up being gluten-free. I was like, you know what? I have gluten-free flour. Sometimes I'll just buy thing if I buy things at the grocery if I see that they're on sale and I'm like, I will use this one day. I just don't know what for. Um, so I ended up buying this gluten-free flour. <laughs> Um, I, I will answer that in just a moment. I ended up buying this gluten-free flour and, um, I was like, well, I haven't done anything with it yet. So I guess I'll make something. And then, um, I was like, well, Saturday approacheth. I haven't done a cooking stream in, what is it? Two, three weeks now? Time has passed by very quickly. Oh my goodness. This is very thick. It, the recipe did warn me that this was going to be a very thick, sticky batter. I don't know if I believed it or not. Did this call for vanilla? Oh, it called for everything. Oopsies. That's probably enough. Um, I forgot to put in the vanilla. Whoops. Um, <laughs> I tried to get that in the sink and it just turned into a cloud. Um, but yeah, so I hadn't had cinnamon rolls in a really long time. I have a metric ton of cinnamon. I will never run out of cinnamon um, until the day that I do, and then I'll feel silly for saying that. Um, but yes, so cinnamon roll cake it is. Uh, let's see, Majer, thank you for those bits. Um, how did the audition go? It went good. Um, I'm actually taking an audition technique class right now. Um, there is a really great teacher out here named Howard Fine. Um, he's he's the, the guy from what I know. Um, and he's been great thus far. I mean, I'm only, this is what, our third class? Yeah, I think it's only four weeks long. Oh my God. We've, <laughs> so much has happened in such a very short amount of time. Yeah, this will be our third class. Um, and it was a comedy audition. So he is a fine teacher. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's good. <laughs> I will always downplay such such comments. Uh, not that they're bad or anything. Uh, that was very, very fine. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been really great. But that is why my hair is done and I have makeup on because in my day-to-day -day life, I do not do my hair and I do not do my makeup. Um, especially now that we're wearing masks pretty much all of the time because makeup gets on the inside of your mask and it's really obnoxious and then if your hair is like done in any fancy way then it gets like stuck in the little strappy things on the side and I have to go into work like many of you out there I'm sure so um that's that's a whole nother layer of complication as well because you have to put on a mask all the time oh my lord look this is so thick this is the thickest batter they told me it was going to be like a thick sticky batter I'm excited for what it's going to do when it's um, doing the cooking thing. All right, let us melt some butter. So it's saying that unsalted, this is not unsalted, but I don't have any choice. So we're going to see what happens there. Boopy. All right, but this needs to be melted, melted, melted. Not just soft, it didn't say soft, it said melted. So I'm gonna put it in there for 30 seconds and hope that that's enough. All right, <laughs> dummy thick batter. I mean, basically. Uh, tagline needs a little workshopping. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you Jet for uh, putting up the Discord. I wasn't going that way, but the fact that you went there. <laughs> It's worse when your mask is a neck gaiter because it messes your hair up as well as going over your head to put it on. Oof. Yeah. Oh, well, that worked. Okay. That might be mildly hotter than I intended for it to. It's melted butter for sure. Well, it, did, it said melted. I don't know why I'm panicking about this. It's already cold. That's fine. Maybe if I just, no, I'm just going to toss it. It's fine. All right. Slowly work this in there. 
Oh, I should not have stuck that in there. That is very sticky butter. All right, the butter is in there and it's like sloshing around. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm gonna move this. There's so many like little, little things, but you see what I mean? The butter's like sitting on top. So I'm gonna try and mix it in. That's what it said. It said to add it in last. The little strappy things get in the way with the masks. Oh, I know. That is definitely not a great part. I've been watching a lot of great British, British Bake Off, thanks to my roommate Sarah, who has gotten me infatuated with that show. And honestly, I think I have that to thank for me wanting to bake more again. Because, you know, you fall out of things sometimes. You forget why you appreciated something. And that has helped me remember, you know? Oh, sorry, it's very hard for me to see the chat. That's what she said with a better... What? Salted or unsalted won't affect it too much. I know that it won't. It's still just a concern, especially with the gluten-free flour, that it's going to have some sort of reaction that I'm not expecting. With a cake, it's probably fine because you just dump everything in and then it's whatever. Oh my gosh. I can't tell if the butter actually helped it or made it more thick. It seems more thick to me. No, okay, it's slightly more runny. Very slightly. I'm seeing a lot of lumps in there, which I think lesson learned for gluten-free flour is that you want to put it through a sifter first because otherwise you're gonna get those lumps and they're just not gonna come out otherwise. Okay. Butter looks mixed in. It did say half cup, right? Panic. <laughs> Avoided. But still very panicky. Okay. So let's see. Hey, Sierra. Uh, just touch the butter. No. Every time. Uh, seems people go to the worst places for reaction to just something. I said all the time. You just have a spoon or fork too. What did I miss there? That panda should not be in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, did you see my tweet? I I don't know why I chose that one. It just, usually I do things because I think it's funny. Like that's enough reason for me to do things. Was it funny? Did it seem funny? I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's see. So then, large bowl of gluten-free flour, once combined, stir in melted butter, cake butter, Pour into the pan. <gasps> that scared me. Arctic Otter. Aw, thank you for that tier two sub. Four months. <sighs> Can't believe we've been doing this for this long. I know I say it literally every time, but time is just passing so quickly. I can't process. Ah! Um, did your phone think you were talking to it? Yes, yeah, Siri started to be like, well, mm-hmm. What do you need? And I'm like, please, Siri, I'm not... <laughs> The times that I'm talking to you are so few. That's not entirely true. I do actually like, not that I'm talking to my phone for fun. I'm just, you know, I have questions to ask about like, can you get me on the phone with my mom? That's one of the big ones. Can you call my house so I can talk to my dad? I wish that I could call my sister but we're on a 17 hour time difference since she's in Tokyo, so I can't easily get a hold of her. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I'm curious. All right, should I try the dough or not, or the batter or not? I feel like you should try the batter. Didn't mean to scare you, sorry. No, you're always gonna scare me, it's totally fine. Hold on, let me see. Everything's good, very busy, but happy particularly the explosion of flour. That's what I, I felt like that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Talent, thank you for the bits. See, yeah, no, he's right. Uh, don't apologize, it's expected. Imagine talking to your phone instead of talking through it. I do talk to my phone sometimes. No, okay, you know what, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna try the batter. Hmm, there's not much going on in it. I think it needs more vanilla, honestly. 
Like it's not bad, but it's it's very bland. Um. I just bought this. Pure vanilla extract. Oh, that was not fully closed. I'm really fortunate that didn't explode. <laughs> That would have been a time, but also on brand for me at this present moment. All right, stop that. Okay. Let's see if a little more vanilla helps. Cause yeah, it's, it's got that vanilla flavor. It's pretty subtle. Like I think it would be fine, but it, it's, there's just, a little bit missing. I know we're gonna put the cinnamon, there's gonna be the crumble that's in there. Um, and I know that that's gonna bring sweetness and cinnamoniness, but the batter needs to be good on its own too. Okay, I just added a little bit. It's not a lot. And whoever told me you always try the batter, thank you, because that would have been really sad. Like, I know it would have been redeemed once we put in the crumbles, but I would like the batter to be good on its own. Oh, golly. <laughs> Smitha, thanks for the bits. Just don't want to put in too much vanilla extract. I feel like it's difficult um, to, to put in too much vanilla extract. Not impossible, but just difficult. That actually, that helped a lot. Make sure this is actually all stirred in and then I'm not just tasting the one, the one like little swath of dough that had enough vanilla in it. Way better, way better. To be fair, the vanilla that I had out before was also a little old. So it could be that, you know, it was more alcohol than vanilla. Um, yeah, have a taste plan. Yep, 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 yep. None of you people have Twitter. Just go ahead and get get it to follow Caitlin. Someone someone can drop my Twitter in there as well if you would like. I'm learning how to fry chicken. Ooh, I am not making potato chips, but once I have everything in the oven, I have a bunch of. I went to a, an import store and I bought a bunch of different flavors of um, potato chips. They're some are great sounding, some are really weird sounding. Um, but once we get this cake in the oven and it's baking, it'll have like 35 to 40 minutes. So then we're gonna eat a bunch of chips. Um, to fry chicken, heat up oil, throw chicken in, take out when done. It's more complicated than that. You gotta like put on all the flour and the stuff. Looks like we're making a gluten-free cinnamon chips. I'm a Japanese potato roll cake. <laughs> oh no, did I name it weird? Oopsie. Thank you, Mamba. So I'm learning how to fry with Chinese red peppers. Oh, that sounds good. All right, let me tilt this down so y'all can see the, uh, the pour. All right, we have our butter in there. It has been appropriately, there's a fat in there so that the uh, cake will not stick. Ooh, golly. <laughs> Afton316, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Come and hang out. We're making cinnamon roll cake. And once we get this in the oven, I'm gonna Try out a bunch of different potato chips. I got some weird flavors, y'all. I got some real weird flavors, but I'm very excited to try them. One, actually two of them have a, a seafood element in a potato chip. So any type of seafood chip is always fascinating to me. Um, but one is very Japanese, <laughs> like very Japanese. Uh, oopie, okay. Hopefully this will, I am actually still going to have to interact with this batter again, because when you make the topping, you have to like put it on in blaps and then you have to swirl it around, which will hopefully go over smoothly. I hope. Wait. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Actually, that is very good. 
It is very good. I am not upset about this. Hmm. And it's also not... I was kind of complaining about the um, lack of sugar amount, but honestly, I think I'm I'm very happy with how the level of sweetness of that, because that the the stuff we're about to make is going to be a lot. And we're also putting a glaze on it too. So, well, I'm going to go eat food and post my fried chicken. Do it up! If you're in our Discord, please put it in the uh, food porn. I'm going to be putting a picture of this in there later on. Uh, okay, large bowl. Cream butter, brown sugar. Oh, I need to cream the butter. I need to make sure there is no remaining remnants of the uh, gluten-free flour that I had in this bowl previously. I don't think it will affect it too much because there's not any like rising agents or anything like that in here. We'll have to turn on a mixer. If it ends up getting too loud, let me know. Um, let's see, topping. Topping is one cup of softened butter. This is not soft enough. Let's do 10 seconds. That should be enough. Now lurking, okay, see you in a bit. Bean bags are so good. I had a great time earlier on Among Us as Imp. Killed someone in reactor, vented a lower engine, then ran back up and accused another player who was downloading in security. Chef's kiss. Voted him out and imps won <sighs> among us. I'm actually going to be playing some of that tonight uh, on this channel at 8 p.m. with a bunch of, of, of my friends who are all VO peeps. So if you guys are going to be around for that, come hang out. You know what? I'm going to try and I'm going to make my life hard and do this with a whisk. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. It probably will. Because they want me to cream the butter and then add all the other stuff. For those that came in in the very beginning, I did post this recipe once, uh, twice actually. Um, but if anyone wants this recipe, let me know. I'm more than happy to share it. I am pulling it from Mama Knows Gluten Free website. Literally just blocks of butter that I'm smashing around. Okay, that's actually quite soft. I think it's going to be fine. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Cup of packed brown sugar. This is one cup. I'm going to stick this to the left of me. Sorry for all the sound. You know, she was talking to the microwave, so no clue. She may have said, oh, I was talking to the, yes, sorry. I'm going to be playing Among Us tonight on this channel, 8 p.m. Feel free to join uh, and come hang out. I think we already have a full crew, so we can't do any community plays this time, but I do want to do some community play down the road. Uh, I really enjoyed doing Community League before, so I would love to do that again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Packing brown sugar is both wonderful and awful because it's fun to play with your food, but also sugar it just gets under your nails. <laughs> it's a terrible feeling. I can't tell how... Uh, this isn't my measuring cup, this is my roommate's measuring cup because I already used my measuring cup. I'm gonna need to get more measuring cups. Um, oh crap, I had another one, I forgot. Oopy. Lurk. Back to lurking, all right. Are the jokers to the right? <laughs> yeah, I agree, that wasn't a lurk. 8 p.m. PST is midnight, oof, that's. Sugar, like sand, gets everywhere. It really does. Plus side, people don't know. Oh, I, uh, I talk to be able to tell if any one of the fluctuations, fluctuations are my lies or whatnot. Oh no. If I was an imposter, Kit would be the first to go, oh, I know. Mamba would take me out immediately. <laughs> immediately. Uh, what? 
Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I'd messed up again. Come on. Come on. Not this soon. Not this soon. All right. So we have that down. And then I need two tablespoons of the gluten-free flour, which is in front of me. I'm working on it. Wow, this container of gluten-free flour I bought, which was like four or five dollars for this tiny, tiny bag, is making me one cake, one. That's the bad part about gluten-free baking. And then if you have any further allergies within that, you're just really out of luck. Uh, all right, I have my flour in. I have packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon. Ouch. Just injuring myself, don't mind me. You know what, a little bit extra though. Because I'm a little bit extra. That was my alarm to go to work, but I don't have to work today, so. Uh, all right, so now we have one cup of unsalted butter, softened, one cup of packed brown sugar, two tablespoons of gluten-free flour, flour, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. <laughs> it's a choice, but you don't do any of the tasks. Oh, you guys are talking about Among Us? I'm not commenting on that one. All right, here's what we've got. We've got our cinnamon, our flour, our uh, butter, and our... Yep, I'm already upset with myself. I need to use a mixer for this. This is... I don't know how I thought this was going to go. Uh, I want to try this. I'm going to try it with a spatula. Because I know that, like, in the past I've made these... Ooh, boy. That is a whole mess of diabetes in a bowl. It is. It really is. I can't believe I've just... I can't believe I've done this. Um, I made a big old mess of um, this whisk and eaten up some of my ingredient without meaning to. But here we are. Alright, I'm gonna leave this to the side, just kind of hanging off this thing and see if I can mix this by hand. I, I fought with myself for years to not get a, an electric mixer. I don't know what it was, probably some, just me being stubborn, but I really wanted to mix things by hand. Um, just because it, it's kind of like uh, I'm putting more into it. Like when I, because most of the time I was, if I was baking something, it wasn't just for me. Other people were going to eat it too. And I wanted it to be just ever so slightly more personal. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was the way to go all along. But wow, it is just, it's literally just cinnamon sugar butter. It's, look at this. Look at this. It's just cinnamon sugar butter and it's gonna be so good. I'm salivating. I also haven't eaten since breakfast and it's I almost said 350, but that's the temperature on the oven. It's 331, where I am anyway. I know you all have various time zones that you're in. With the tasks, it's good to learn which tasks are visible, which tasks are on. And oh, it's a good thing to spread on toast right there. <laughs> I, I'm so curious as to like what made Among Us so exciting for all of us. Because I love playing that game too. Haven't gotten to play a whole lot of it. Not as much as I'd like anyway. But I wonder like what it is about like these colorful little bean men that have just like stolen our hearts. Ah, look at this. Look at this cinnamon butter. I'm gonna taste it. It's just butter and sugar, but it's probably gonna be great. There's so much nostalgia and that flavor. Like, my mom used to make cinnamon rolls and, and like monkey bread every morning. 
just like the pull apart this just that just hits so many nostalgia things for me <laughs> oh it's so nice oh i'm so happy okay what do i need to do okay so in a large bowl did all the creaming uh drop heaping tablespoons of the butter mixture into the cake batter use a knife to swirl the butter mixture through the cake and then we're gonna bake it so then the last thing that we'll have to do i'm so excited okay so now all i have to do is big old spoonfuls and drop it on top of this cake butter and sugar hey nick not gonna lie, I don't cook anything that takes even 10% of this much work because really lazy when cooking for myself. Hey, you know what? That's okay. I eat microwave food. I had microwave egg bites for breakfast. They were great. <laughs> it's good. And I don't really cook with this much like oomph in my regular daily morning. Not often. I, I will make myself omelets with some regularity and that's about it. All right, I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see what I'm doing and hopefully it has an effect. Weep. Oh, wait. Wink. All right. So I'm literally just taking big old spoonfuls of this and plopping it on. I'm going to try and do somewhat organized rows. Oh my God. There's so, so much of this. Why did they ask me to make this much? How in the ever living heck am I going to use all of this? Maybe I need to do rows of four. Seriously, there is so much of this, y'all. Oh my god. I... How? I'm trying to use as much as possible. This feels so insane. I guess they really want them to be this big. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh my god. I guess if... If I feel that it's too much, I can always just keep it in a container and and put it on toast in the mornings. Because I've basically just made really delicious cinnamon brown butter sugar topping. Oh my god. Dang it, Kaylin, I already said I was hungry. Why do you do this? I'm sorry. I can feel my gr gut growing bigger watching those globs being put on. That's too much diabetes for me. I mean, okay, to be fair, I have not had a lot of sugar heavy items lately. So this is, this is, uh, this is also a cake, you know, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna have frosting, but it is gonna, oh my God, okay. I have to stop. That's so much. This is so much. This is so much. Okay, that's it. I'm getting a little container. What? Mm, no. I have these really adorable little like potion pot things um for butter and whatnot but i don't have it in me to use those for this because i'm gonna have to stick a knife in it and it's probably not gonna come out very easily okay i just can't it's not within me to put more of this on this cake hello just hear the amount of sugar that's in this okay yeah oh my god what's up i see yellow it's not too much yet oh god i can't i cannot i can't how can i possibly put more on this and then it also tells me to like it says a knife but i have a spoon in my hands you're right knife is better <laughs> i do it for literally two seconds i'm like new no. See, this is a lot. <laughs> There's no way. I don't know how it's supposed to look, so I'm just gonna make these very fanciful swirls, shapes. Maybe cut into a little.
That looks right, right? I didn't actually look at the thing. God, that's got to be enough. <gasps> that rubber spatula you skipped out with probably work wonders on spreading. You're right. Time for your art skills to shine. Got to go back to work. But this was nice. Hope to catch you later tonight as you show off your detective skills. Thank you. We'll see you at eight. I needed this today. So thank you for being you and being so entertaining. Oh, thank you, Smitha. Thank you for the bits. It will only fund me doing more of these since gluten-free flour is really expensive. And also, uh, probably Bosco and uh, all the neighbors in the house next door are going to be happy because they're probably going to end up eating this too. All right, that looks pretty reasonable, right? That looks pretty, right? That looks okay for a cinnamon roll cake. I don't know how it's actually supposed to look, so I'm just sort of guessing here. Oh, I cannot taste any more of that or I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Can't, okay, I could not have possibly put this much more on top of this cake. Bosco is my neighbor. <laughs> he literally lives like a door away from me. Okay, this is just gonna be, I'm putting that on toast tomorrow. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, so I have, uh, everything is together. It's in 35. We're gonna put it in for 35 minutes first because I don't want this to overdo. I don't think I'm supposed to get it all the way down, am I? I'm worried now. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It looks like it's pretty top. Like on the top. I hope. Well, you know what? We're gonna find out. I think I was supposed to like shove the blop in. Maybe I need to make it deeper. Now I'm very concerned that I did it wrong. Because the, the piece of cake that they had out, it was like all the way through. E yeah, okay, I'm gonna. I'll just be very fanciful with how I. There, we'll just really fucking swirl this shit. I know I'm changing my design. I'm so sorry. But I want that cinnamon to get down there. Hopefully this will work. Well, they look cool. <laughs> That's a plus, right? All right. All right. Now we're stopping. I'm going to get sick on all the battery I'm eating. Oh, that's so good. Hi, Jeff. I'm making um, a gluten-free cinnamon roll cake. I actually like the swirl design better than what I had going on before. Because it actually looks like... Uh, <laughs> Incoming pit drop! Thank you, Solo. Um, it actually looks a little bit more like cinnamon rolls now, which I'm very excited about. Okay, 30, 35 minutes. We're going to do 35 minutes, see how it does, and then take it out. Here we go. All right. Done for that part. Okay, 
Now, uh, honestly, at this point, there's going to be a brand new game called Five Degrees of Bosco. I know. Honestly, most of the voiceover community, we all know each other. <laughs> like, it was weird finding out that they were neighbors. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about anyone on Twitch knowing where I am. Hell, most of my friends don't even know where I live now. Hey, dude, I get it. The Edward Bosco. When I was in Japan, I was in, uh, I was the favorite to have in the baking section because the tweaks I would do to the recipes would make the good stuff amazing. Dude, you gotta know you gotta know how to do this stuff. Toffee and others. Oh, you can make toffee. I actually just got a really exciting uh, recipe from my friend Bam to do. Uh, who is Calmore, I believe, on um, on Twitter. But she gave me a recipe for caramels, and I really want to make them. It's supposed to look like food. Oh, my gravy. So now what do we do while we wait? Okay, I have to make the glaze really quickly. Two cups of powdered sugar. That's a lot. That's a lot of powdered sugar. Hopefully this bowl is the right size. Ooh. I should not have taken that out of the bag. I have another, um, I have another bag of powdered sugar if I need it, but hopefully I don't. I forgot that I had bought more than roommates. Did not need to use my roommates, but you know what? I did end up needing to use it, my roommates anyway. Oh, the really bad part about putting it in the bag and trying to level it out. You can't really see. I love powdered sugar. It's so pleasing to work with. Ah, all right, hang on. All right, there's my second cup. And then it wants five tablespoons of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla. It's the only bad part about powdered sugar. Ugh. It is powdered and therefore very small. Okay. I need five tablespoons of milk. And a teaspoon! <laughs> Is done. Kaylin, I'm not sure if your streams are going to be all baking or if you'll cook other things, but have you tried chocolate no-bake cookies? In the past, yes. My sister was normally the one that made chocolate no-bake cookies. Um, but I have not personally made them just by myself, so I would be down to try it. Two, three, four, A little more than I needed. I think I have one whisk left that I'm actually going to need for this. And then I need to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And as soon as I'm done with this, we're going to try some chips. Wink. Oh, that was way more than I needed. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. Two cups. Five tablespoons, one teaspoon. Yeah, that was more than I needed, but that's okay. So, our bowl of, um, ah. our bowl of powdered sugar and milk and vanilla has been combined. The powdered sugar is doing some very interesting things. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. You know when you pour milk and coffee? It's kind of doing that right now. Because the powdered sugar is melting like cotton candy into this. And then it's like um, the vanilla is sort of separating um, in the agent that it's in. Huh. Fortunately, I'm going to have to go. Hopefully I'll, be able to see your <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to see your Among Us stream tonight. I hope you will too. I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. 
I, we should have a multi-stream link as well, so. I'm glad I turned on the position to be a general chef as I'm in the Fort Drum, New York. The presentation would have gotten me in a lot of trouble. Oh no. Peanut butter chocolate no-bake cookies are amazing. Oh, I agree. They're very, very good. I want to play. I don't know how many people we have in, Jeff, but if, if there's room, I will totally have you in. It's funny how basically it's literally just powdered sugar and water. I mean, this one is milk, so it's like mildly different, but not very different. It's already setting up into a sugary goo, which is delicious. Delicious. Look at that. Yes. In no time at all, we have made a glaze. That's... <laughs> You see how dangerous it is? Do you see how dangerous baking is? In no time at all, you can have the entirety of a cake in your possession. And I think that's it. Da 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 da! Glaze. Here. Weep. It's very runny. It's what you would find on top of any type of cinnamon roll or anything like that. <gasps> Kevin Maja, 25. Thank you for the follow. Yes. Well, I did say basic. It doesn't thicken up enough. You just need to add more powdered sugar. No, I think, I think this is a, I think this is fine. I wouldn't want it to be much thicker than this, honestly. And I'll, I'm also going to let it sit out a little bit. So some of the moisture might come out. Yeah. I mean, Hmm. I'm actually not as much of a fan of this. I can taste the powdered sugar too much. I wonder if letting it sit for the 35 to 40 minutes is going to help it a little bit. But all I taste is powdered sugar. Like, that's it. There's no other flavor. All right. Now it's time to pull out some potato chips. Y'all, I'm real excited to try these like real excited. Um, I did add the vanilla extract. I'm just going to let it sit and see what it does for the next 27 minutes and we'll see what, what that is all about. But for now, the time has come. I'm going to unveil my variety of potato chips that I have purchased. So uh, about two weeks ago, I went to Little Tokyo um, with my roommates and we went and got, I just went on a spree. I bought seven different kinds of potato chips. Um, I went a little crazy. I haven't had lunch today, thank goodness, because this is a lot of chips. Um, all right, so I have some normal things. So I have Cheetos, we'll start with that. I have Cheetos, they are cheese flavored. That's what this says, it's cheese. Um, and then I also have pepper cheese. I don't know what that means, but I have it. Uh, and then in the realm of normal, I have honey butter potato chips. I love honey butter potato chips because they're sweet and salty. It's like kettle corn. Um, they're, they're delicious. Um, so it's less of a tasting on this one. It's more of just, I'm gonna eat my chips and be happy. I'm munching on Lay's original baked potato chips right now. Those are really good. My dad, that was like his chips when I was growing up. Uh, in the realm of normal chips, like actually normal chips, I have these, uh, Koikea fried potato. I will read this paragraph up here when we get to these because it cracks me up so much. They're so like ridiculous, but I love it so much. Uh, and then I also have these corn pottage chips. So there's like, uh, there's a very creamy soup called corn potage, corn pottage, however you want to say it. Um, uh, but yes, these are little heart shaped little chips, uh, corn puffs. I, I tried to, they're baked corn crackers, corn, corn potage. <laughs> That's what it says on the back. It says corn twice. I don't know why. Um, and then we got some weird chips, like weird. Um, these are grilled salted shrimp chips. They've got the whole fish there. 
um, corn pot potage. It's like P O T A G E. Um, but yeah, these are grilled salted shrimps. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what these are going to taste like. I've had salt, salt, mm, shrimp chips before. I've had shrimp chips in the past, but I've not had grilled salted, uh, shrimps. And then the last one, which is the weirdest one that I found, but the one I'm very excited for. Um, these are mackerel and persimmon leaf chips. So it's literally fish chips with persimmon leaf. And I'm not sure what these are going to taste like. But my curiosity is getting the better of me. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to actually try and eat them in that order um, just to have some normalcy to my life but i have no idea these ones are going to be i'm saving these for last because um i'm gonna have a palate cleanser after this because i'm really not sure what this is going to be like yeah mysterious chip happy fun time katakana makes almost no sense when you transliterate it back to whatever language that katakana is from i know it gets a little confusing my sister uh in japan has trouble with katakana sometimes even like even though she it's like should be a normal word, but it's sometimes very difficult on how people put it back and forth. All right, let's start with these Cheetos. Um, what I've been told is that I can, I'm sure you can see Chester Cheeto is like putting a Cheeto in cheese. So there's, there's something different about these than normal, but I have no idea. Oh, they're also very poofy. Like normally Cheetos are like gnarled, <laughs> gnarled looking blobs, but these are actually all very poofy. And it looks like they're normal Cheetos that just have crystals on top of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Whoa. Huh. That is, um, so literally all of them are big and poofy, almost like a, um, a cheese poof but in Cheeto shape, they are covered. They are dangerously cheesy. It honestly tastes like um, Cheetos with a white cheddar dusting. But they're very poofy. Normally I don't like Cheetos because of the like hard bits. Cause when they come out of the thing, like they have different textures throughout. Um, so it's a crisp or a puff. Honestly, it's right in between. Cause it's like, it's one of those things where you're like, I'm trying to, <laughs> they must be baked instead of fried. I think you're right. Do they fry Cheetos? I thought they like, no, it's just cheese puffs that come out through a little extruder. Cheetos probably get fried. Mmm. Light and puffy rather than hard and crunchy. Yes. They're definitely that. It's one of those things where I'm like still trying to totally, because the white cheddar dusting isn't totally accurate, but it is cheese, but it tastes like a Cheeto, but it's not a Cheeto because it's poofy. Hello, the wolf man. Um, yeah, these are, these are weird, but I like them but I don't know how to feel about them. But I can't stop eating them either. I think that's... They're good. I don't know what to say. But yeah, all of them are puffy. They're more puffed than crisp. And um, the flavor is it's not full Cheeto though. Like I remember what Cheetos taste like. These are just, no, they're good. They're good. Okay. I can deal with that. Whoa. Clean off the, there is still, my hands aren't covered in neon orange. I think that's why I'm like a little off put of that. It's not like a normal Cheeto, but I do like, I gra vastly prefer the texture of those over normal Cheetos because I don't normally I don't like the, the hard bits. Um, hydrate. Wow. Look at that timing. Thank you, Solo Snake. I'm definitely going to need hydration during this. I feel like a fool for not knowing what it is. Oh, they, um, 
Oh, so... Oh, thank you for the pause reject. So these are um, Cheetos that I got at a Japanese import store, and they're cheese-flavored Cheetos. So it's like not necessarily normal Cheetos. They're... Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a white cheddar Cheeto. Che Cheeto? Cheeto? <laughs> My mouth. Not doing what it should. Um... Yeah, but it's a lot, it's a lot lighter and crispier. Um, and the one, this one's gonna weird me out a little bit because these are the pepper cheese ones. You can see the little um, pepper flakes on the, the Cheetos. Cheddar Cheeto. <laughs> Zaki, you are correct. Cheeto Chidori, maybe? Ooh. Oh my, that's very peppery. All right. These are the same. They're very poofy. I think I just prefer the Japanese Cheetos. They have pepper all over them. Woo! That's a lot of pepper. It's mainly pepper. Like, the smell is pepper, the taste is pepper, and then on the very last bite of it, you're like, oh, oh, that was a Cheeto, I think. Like, the cheese is, um, the cheese is not, um, even really there. Interesting. I can see these being as addictive as Lay's, though. But instead of the, like, salt aftertaste that you get, you get a pepper aftertaste. But it's not so overwhelming that you hate it and you're like, no more. I don't want any more. It's just like, oh, there's pepper. Oh, it's gone. Okay, that was a Cheeto. Hmm. I'll try it again. I could get my friend Cheyenne to come to the chat. Oop, up, up. And she could read what the bag says. I can read what the bag says. Um, my Japanese isn't great. I'm like a third or fourth grader when it comes to my um, level of proficiency. But I can. Um, Naikori are better though. I don't know if Naikori. I know I'm, I'm Englishizing that really bad. Oh, that does build though. Pepper is very warm and gets to be a little spicy. The, um, the, the, like, building of pepper after, like, multiple Cheetos, it's actually starting to get, like, hot. Not, like, not, I don't want to say spicy hot, because it's not spicy like Tabasco being poured on a chip or something. Um, but it is hot. Won't stop me from eating it, but it's hot. Greek snacks are better. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Thank you for that hydrate. American snacks are too greasy. It kind of depends on what you like. Like, some people just like it to be more greasy. Some people like it to be more salty. Some people like, you know, it's just personal preference. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. All right. Intriguing. I'm about that one. I'm, I'm pretty fond of that. All right, let's do some corn potage. I love corn potage. Pottage, however you want to call it. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, it smells like sweet creamed corn. Oh, that's really good. Oh, and there's such cute little hearts. Look at them. Weak. Yeah, it smells like sweet cream corn. There's like a, because of the, the corn potage I've had in the past, it almost, it almost like smells hot, but I know that that's just my brain tricking me to thinking like, you've had this in the past and it was like, like hot and delicious. So this smells hot, but it's not. It just smells like, it smells exactly like the soup. Like if you got a warm, fresh bowl of corn potage, um, that's, it smells like this, and I'm about it. Oh, that's good. The corn pottage flavor is like, bam, and like really well, like it tastes cream corn soup cracker. That is 100% what this is. Um... At the very end, you almost, you're like, your mouth is like, there's no more flavor, it's done, bye-bye. 
But um, when the corn pottage is there, it's good in a very not overwhelming way. Almost like you just... Um, it's all the flavor of the corn pottage soup without it um, completely overwhelming. Because you know how sometimes when they put flavors on things, it's supposed to be emulating something and it doesn't fully achieve that? Um, but this one has done that, but it fades very quickly after you've eaten it. But it is a very cute little heart. Boink. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. I'm about these. Colby Normandy does Normandy. <laughs> Normally does things pretty well though. Like their um, little French fry sticks are very very good. Japan is a country I must visit before I die. It's so worth it. It's beautiful. Everyone I came across was so nice. Um, so a good bam. Yeah. No, it was a very good bam. I wasn't expecting it to, um, uh, um, my roommate Bill has these little corn potage sticks. Um, but the flavoring that's on it, like there's so much powder that it, it like sticks to your mouth and it, it has the corn potage flavor, but it's very like, um, it's very overwhelming. And then it doesn't fade like at all. This one is like, Bam! Smack you in the face with corn pottage! And then it's like, okay, I'm done. And then it's gone. And that's nice. I'm about that. Anyone a big fan of dark chocolate? Like 70 or 68? Me. I like really dark chocolate. That knife in the background? Which one? There are probably multiple. I love having a bunch of knives around. Mmm. I could eat that whole bag right now. And also, because it's like a, it's very light, very crunchy. But it's one of those things where like when you've been chewing it for a minute, it gets that, um, it takes on a different texture and then you're just like chewing what used to be crispy, crunchy. But it's really good. These are really good. I feel like I've already eaten all seven of them, but I've actually only eaten three. <laughs> Four more to go! All right, I'm gonna take a sip. Get my palate a minute to recenter. Give me the biggest one you got. I mean, it's really not that big, to be honest. This isn't that large of a kitchen knife. Uh, this is my Cutco knife from when I worked there. Eons ago. Maybe a whole 10 years, I think. That was like one of the first jobs I came across. Mm. I'm also smelling the cinnamon and it smells so good. All right. Now I'm going to reset a little bit with Japan potato 100%. Guys, I have to read you. I have to read you this paragraph because it is so good. Goddamn boy, she thick. No offense. Mm, don't say stuff like that, please. Um, it's because you keep eating and eating out of the bags. He's talking about the knife, right? I hope so. Uh, 100 potato! Yeah, it's a thick knife. All right. These, like, let me show you what's on the back of these. There's a chef. He's putting uh, salt on the potatoes. There's um, the, the front of uh, Koikea. And this paragraph... <laughs> Maximum potatoes. Um, Koikea presents these potato chips with the utmost pride. Inspired by our early days, we have applied the new pride potato manufacturing method to craft a new Japanese delicacy. Please enjoy our crisp, truly delectable chips made from flavorsome Japanese potatoes. These are some intense potatoes. And I really hope they're good. Uh, from what I remember reading on this thing, on the uh, the little like sales thing, I feel that I have dishonored this bag by ripping it in the way that I have. I'm gonna sniff this. I'm sorry, bag. Mm. 
These potato chips are probably the most uniform potato chips I've ever seen. I'm just gonna take a couple out so y'all can see. Ah! Ah! They're so like... Like someone had to have cut these by hand. They're a little crunched because of me. But like, look at these. Look at this. This is like a very perfect potato chip. Look at this. It fried flat. How? <laughs> All right. It's good. It's a potato chip. It's a little bit thicker than Lay's. Actually, it might be double the thickness of Lay's. I know. Of course I'm making a mess, y'all. Because I'm moving too fast. I need to chill. Hmm. You know... There's something about them that makes me be like, more care has been given to these, but I don't know if it's just my brain tricking me because of the branding. Which is a thing. They are good potato chips. They're actually a little bit thicker than I normally like for a potato chip. But they are very good. Koike, yeah. You're right. You're right. I seem confused. Well, I'm only confused because I'm like, why make a premium potato chip? Like, I know that everyone has that, like, Normally you have that one thing that you're like really, really passionate about. And maybe the person that made this brand is just really passionate about potato chips. They're good potato chips. Not a single one is overcooked. Because no, normally there's like some that's a little more burnt or whatever. All of these are literally cooked perfectly. But it's a chip. I'm sure the person who made these would be vastly insulted at my nonchalance. But. Did that go in the glaze? Nope, we're good. Would it have surprised anyone if it did though? No. Alright. So now that my palate has tasted a normal chip. We're gonna start getting weird. A little weird. I'm honest, I honestly think I'm gonna use normal potato chips as my palate cleanser in between. Um, because yeah, why not? She liked them and munched on them a lot and now finally moved on to the Japan potato and it was just a chip. It was just a chip. Um, yeah, I had to go grab some cheese puffs. <laughs> but isn't weird just the normal for here? Yeah, you're right. That is about normal for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do grilled shrimp. Then I'm going to do the honey butter chips because that'll be vastly different. Also need to... Oh my gosh, okay. <sighs> All right, we're going to do the grilled shrimp chips and I'm going to snip these because I'm really bad at opening them on my own. Oh, these. Whoa. That is shrimp. Shrimp! It looks like a normal chip. It smells like shrimp. You know Ruffles? Like Ruffles potato chips. Imagine that. Same exact experience. A little less salt. Sprinkle shrimp on it. Sh shrimp flavor. That's what it tastes like. It's not overwhelming in a way that you hate it. But it is there. Oh. 
Weird. The aftertaste is also very strong. Oh man, that's what does shrimp taste like? How do you explain the taste of shrimp? Tastes like what? How do I help? <laughs> how do I explain what shrimp tastes like? Um. Here you go. If you're walking along, Uncle Ray, you know what you did. Um, if you're walking along like a harbor or something, and it's like a where they catch fish often, like if you open your mouth and breathe in that like salty air, that's what this tastes like. Not to the point that it makes me like nostalgic for a trip that I've taken or something, but it that's the closest I can I can explain. For these grilled salted shrimps. Um, meaty crunchy water bug? No, that sounds bad. <laughs> That's probably how I'd explain a shrimp too. Wow. Mmm. No, I do like these. I'm eating a lot of them. I should stop. As I continue to put a chip on my mouth. Two more bags. To try. Yeah, the flavor is there in the aftermath. Like it's still kind of hanging out. Okay, see you in a bit, Mamba. Um, yeah, the shrimpiness is there, but it's not like... It's not making me hate <laughs> the taste of shrimp. Because some shrimp chips in the past have been like way too much. Like they need to chill and then they don't. Um, but that one's, that one's good. Like at this point now I'm tasting more... More potato than shrimp, but the shrimp taste is still there a little bit. But it's not bad. Oh, thank you, Solo Snake. All right, honey butter chips. These are my favorite. They're my favorite chip. I think there's actually some um, green stuff on it, too. And I don't remember what it is. Parsley. There's parsley on this. Um, but yes, honey butter chips are my favorite. They have little green speckies on them. It's one thing I give the bags from Japan. They are much thicker than the ones in the US. You can just rip open. All right, see? There's little green specks on this chip and it's all parsley. Oof, 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 oof. All right, this is a honey butter chip. So it's just, it's very sweet and tangy and has the parsley on it as well. Mm. Mm. Calby, you've done it again. For like fifth time, because I bought this a lot. Yeah, those bags are way tougher than American bags. Honey on anything is my favorite. Yeah, honey is just delicious, honestly. I use honey in most of my recipes. Anytime I can substitute honey instead of sugar, I will do it. Am I uh, feeling okay? Why am I not feeling okay? I got my favorite chips. I'm happy. They're sweet. They're... How do I describe this? You know, um... How do I... Words... They're a little bit thicker than Lay's, but they have that quality to them that they're like baked, even though they've been fried. Hi, Carbon. Mmm, oh, so good. The uh, oof, a minute to go. Wait, what do you mean uh, oof? Why did I uh, oof? The curls are fantastic. Oh, thank you. I had a. <laughs> Caitlin quote of the day. How do I words? That is a thing I say with some frequency. Um, I had a self tape audition today for an audition technique class that I'm taking right now. Um, so that, uh, I'm all dolled up because I had to do that today. Mm. Guys, these are my favorite. I'm starting to re regret leaving the mackerel persimmon ones for the end. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Because <laughs> these are really good. Oh. 
Okay, guess what's gonna go off in like five seconds? Cake's gonna be done. Three, two, one. Mm. That was close. Alright. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! The cake got really big. Like, it's really big. Um, it definitely needs, like, a minimum of three more minutes. Um, you know what? I'm gonna stop that for one second so I can show you. Alright. So, I need to do this carefully. Please don't put off a notification right now. I will do everything in my power to not be... Look at this. This thing's huge! And very, very fluffy in the middle. Right, I'm gonna put it in. Uh, you know what? I honestly think it's gonna need. Yeah, three minutes at least. Because <sighs> I saw some wiggliness um, in the center, but that could just be the butter. There's a lot of butter in there. So all the butter has now come out and gone down around the sides. <laughs> Not surprised by the beeper, but the notifications, however. <laughs> I was expecting the beeper, so that's a totally different thing. Big cake can be shared better. It's very true. I'm definitely going to be sharing this cake. There's no way I can eat it all by myself. Uh, it did poof. You were right. Um, there was no yeast in it. Um, it was just a, a, a gluten-free cake, so it didn't call for any yeast or anything. So, It's cake, not bread. Um, at least it's not souffle. <laughs> I waited. Don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate that, Talon. Even when she expects notifications, it still gets her. I mean, it's always gonna get me. Okay, that I'm, I'm actually glad. I've still got honey butter flavor in my mouth, which I'm not upset about even remotely. Um, but, uh, 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 whoop, whoop, hang on. I gotta shift some things, wink. Okay, um, but, and back to happiness butter chips. Yes, um, but I'm gonna stop on that for a minute because I do want to get through these mackerel chips. So the last chips that I have out of this assortment of so many chips that I've opened at this point, I've opened six bags of chips. My seventh and final bag of chips is going to be a persimmon leaf and mackerel chip. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's gonna be a mistake that I'm really sad about. Maybe it will be amazing and maybe I'll be really happy that I did it. Yeah. So apparently Ireland decided that Subway's uh, loaves do not count as bread because of how much sugar is in them. They consider them cake. I recently read that and I was really excited about it because I was like, yeah, these always have been very floofy. <laughs> and <laughs> not a mess with all your roommates. Take all the chips in a big bowl, mix them up and put them out for everyone. Oh. I'm very tempted to do that, but they would murder me. Probably. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the flavor of honey butter. But I must. For science! It's either gonna taste fabulously or spooky. <laughs> spooky flavor, Subway cakes. Mmm. Eat fresh? Eat fresh cake, apparently. Maybe it'll uh, just remind them that you need, they need to pay you rent. Oh, they need me to pay rent. Yes, that's true. Okay. I'm putting off eating the mackerel persimmon leaf chips for one more moment. One more moment. All right. I'm still seeing some wobble, but I think at this point, it's actually just the butter. I don't think you can actually see that very well. Mm. I'm seeing a little bit of browning on the sides, but um, this blob of butter in the top is making me real concerned. Okay. I'm gonna do Two, two more minutes. Two more minutes. 
All right. Let's eat this last chip. Ah! Then if the timer goes off, then I can have a reason to not have to eat another one. Oh, it smells like a pickle. It smells like pickles. Oh, there's the fish smell. Huh. Yeah, first whiff, it smells like pickles. And then after the fact, you get a little bit of that fishy smell. It's like sweet fish. But also a pickle. Tastebuds.exe have stopped working. Seriously. It's like, okay. The first, okay, let me eat another one to try and explain this. Right up in the beginning, you get smacked with a little bit of something sweet. It immediately morphs into like a very light fishy flavor, but like a salted fish. And it kind of ends with tasting more like a pickle. But because my brain doesn't process all of that, the end of it tastes like popcorn a little bit or something. These are weird, but really good. Forgot about the beeper. It was very into the chips. So wait, are these chips transformers? Maybe. I hope not, because I've eaten like four. All right, let's see where we're at with this cake. I'm coming back for you, chips. Oh, I think we're good. That is a... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. Look at this. It's bubbling with all the butter. It's browned, the side is browned. Um, there's the little bit of wobble in the middle, like over on this side, right there. You guys can't probably see it, but I am seeing a lot of it browned. It looks like it's done its job. It looks pretty. Yes, microwave, we know you're here too. It's okay. Um, I think that looks good. That looks pretty cooked. Wow, okay. Here, let me let me give you one more one more shot of this because let me turn it around. Because the other side browned a little bit more too. Look at that. Look at this. I'm lucky that this is not tipping over with butter. That turned out pretty good, y'all. That turned out pretty great. <sighs> yeah, okay. Yes, I'm, I am going to get a toothpick. We'll see if anything comes out. It's going to be a little bit different because of the gluten-free aspect. I don't know if it would stick normally. <clears throat> Pardon? Came out clean. Came out clean. Yeah, that that's done. Oh, yes. All right, I'm going to turn off the oven. It's cooked. We have a cooked cake. I'm very excited. Man, today is like junk food day central. It does sound like it's done. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That, that was timing that no one ever could have planned. I know, it, it's looking good. No, I choose to believe you can perceive the future. <laughs> but the thing I don't know is how long the delay is going to be from the time I hit cheer and it goes off for her, on her end, for me to time it. Thank you. I'm very excited. Oh! Talon. 
Rings doorbell. Hello, Caitlin. I smell you are cooking something tasty. Need a taste tester? I'm a professional. Neighbor Bosco 2020. Bosco wouldn't do that. He'd, he'd, he'd be... He would... He wouldn't... I don't think he would in, insert himself into the situation like that. Maybe he would. Maybe he would. <laughs> I'm gonna eat more of these pickle chips, though. While I'm waiting for that to cool. You guys can't hear it, but there's still these little pops of butter of it, like... It's still like the butter is still like boiling up through the sides and around the around the outside, and I was thinking about cinnamon. I got pickled sweet fish instead. Really though, these are very good. Mm. He wouldn't ring the bell. Um, he has just come in in the past. Kind of depends on the day, you know. And if people are expecting him. If people are expecting him, then he'll just come in. If the door was unlocked. My sister and her family always know it's me when I show up. I'm the only one who ever actually knocks. Yeah! <laughs> Someone says Vogue! Wah! Well, these chips are good. This is a pretty good haul of chips, y'all. I am not sad. This is, this is more than I could have asked for. Let me double check. Pour over the warm cake. Okay. All right. I forgot. Really? I'm going to put the glaze on top of that? That's insane. Okay. It hasn't really thickened up a lot. Oh, this is going to be a weird, weird combo to go to. Okay. And I do have an airtight container. The cake has gone down enough that once I put the glaze on, I will still be able to put the top over it. So I think we'll be okay. I hope. Let me see if it's sitting here has gone in any better. Pickle chip and glaze. Mm -mm. Not really. But it may not matter. Um, because I'm probably only going to put it on... Um, well, even if I chill it, the cake's warm, so it's going to immediately melt it. Um, so I think it's fine that I put it on, that I put it on now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, still too hot for me to touch. I've worked in the kitchen for a long time, so I can, like, touch things when they're really hot, but... So see, it's it's gone down in poof. It's not as poofy as it was. The butter has now absorbed into the cake. It's actually pulling away from the sides a little bit. Um, yeah, it's it's like it there's so much better that it's actually pulling away from the sides uh without me having to do anything to it at all. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. I'm gonna glaze this. Alright, let me move these chip bags. So many chips. <laughs> My roommates are gonna be so happy to eat all these chips with me. Um Okay, stay. Alright, we're gonna move this. I think I'm also going to go a little light on the glaze because um, there's already so much sugar in that butter and the brown sugar cinnamon butter stuff that I don't want to overwhelm it with even more because it's already going to be a lot. Um, but the story was true enough though. <laughs> um, you got them cook hands. I do have them cook hands. I'm not going to lie, I find it funny, but I'm also a shit. You're fine. All right. We'll see how this goes. This is so much sugar. <laughs> this is so much more sugar than anyone needs to consume at any given time. And it's filling in where the cake pulled away from the pan. It's just going into those crevices. I bet this is what's gonna help. Um, Cause gluten-free anything has a problem with holding moisture. 
So this is probably going to be what helps it maintain its moisture. All right, I did use all of it. And you know what? It's That's probably going to be what makes the, um, the like, piece be runny. And I'm going to take a picture of that real quick. Dang! It's beautiful. Oh. All right. I'm not going to tag my porn. This is porn, and I'm not going to tag it. Um, so this is beautiful. So there's no such thing as when it comes to uh, as too much sugar when it comes to cinnamon rolls. Save the glass for French toast. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> this is going straight on Twitter. Oh yeah, it is. So long-reaching question: Are you gonna do a costume stream or how about Halloween? And what are you gonna dress as? Ooh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. What day is Halloween on? I'm not sure I'm, if I'm gonna have to work or not. It's on a Saturday? Hell yeah, I'm gonna do a cooking stream. Although, you know what? <sighs> All right, I'll do a cooking stream. I'll do a costume cooking stream on Halloween. Um, and I'll probably make something that's like an homage to a Reese cup because that is my favorite Halloween candy. Like that, that's my favorite thing. Maybe I could make a, um, like either a Reese cup cake or um, like a fudge, like a peanut butter chocolate fudge, or I can actually try and recreate a Reese's cup, but that would be very difficult to do. <laughs> um, not fast enough. Let's go, uh, yeah. Just please no pumpkin spice flavor, anything. I really enjoy pumpkin spice flavor. Um, I didn't used to, um, but something about this year, uh, my friend KG was talking about how like the normalcy of pumpkin spice flavor coming out in the fall has just been very pleasant. So um, I've actually been kind of subscribing to that a little bit of, you know what, I enjoy, I enjoy, I'm having a good time having pumpkin spice things. Um, so I've been pretty about that. Um, man, this is still very hot, but I'm gonna tip this down so you can see what the glaze is doing. It's actually like changing color a little bit, probably because it's being exposed to the cinnamon, but it has seeped in. I'm salivating. I know I just ate eaten like seven different kinds of chips, but wow, this looks, look at this. The glaze has set. It's like gone into all the cracks. Ah. Uh, yeah, this pan is still very hot. I do not recommend doing that. <laughs> but, okay, I have to take a different picture now because they look totally different. Because when it was still setting up, it was like a, a whole different thing. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. <laughs> now you're trying to mess with me. <laughs> Make sure everyone has their insulin ready before serving. Fudge, I'm not a fan of it because I didn't sit well with me when I was a teen and it made me sick and I haven't touched it since. This mug gives me flashbacks to when it made me sick. Oh, fudge? I could see that. Well, I probably won't. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna make fudge. The most that I would make is like a peanut butter bar with a chocolate ganache top. Like I can see myself doing that. You did that on purpose. I think you did. Let's see if I can get... There was like not a whole lot of very flattering angles for this because it's just a pile of stuff. <laughs> All right, let me get a plate because I want to try this. Mm. I really hope this is good. I really do. <laughs> I want it to be good so badly. Here, I'll let you guys see how it um, how it looks when it's being cut. Oh, there's some crispiness with that cinnamon part. 
It's coming out clean. I thought about making a smaller piece, but then I didn't. <laughs> What's that? Don't burn your tongue. I'll try not to. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's so much butter in here that it's, I'm salivating so much I can hardly talk. There's so much butter in here that it doesn't stick to the side at all. Oh my God. This is, this may as well be butter cake. No, don't you dare dare fall apart on me. Okay, so it does have a normal, like, cakey looking base. Wow, that is, that is a sight. It looks like the side may have been, or the bottom may have been burned a tiny bit. Just based on, um, like, if you can see in that back corner, there's a little bit of burn on the bottom. I mean, it's not, it's not a lot. Oh my god, that is a heavy cake. I didn't even realize Look at that. That's beautiful. That I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> okay, that is looking. That's looking real good. This is going way better than last time. Okay, I think... That is some pretty ass cake. <laughs> they look like delicious cinnamon rolls. All right. Let's see if they taste like delicious cinnamon rolls. I'm so... Okay. And just look... It's flaking like it would, like if, if it was a cake mix. So it's still giving me the crumbliness of as, it, as if it were a box cake. All right. Pretty cake baked by a pretty girl. Can I get any better? Oh, thanks, Talon. Oh, wow. That is, that's a cinnamon roll. Like, almost, the texture is almost the same. And now everyone needs to blow up her Twitter pic with likes. Y'all, this, this is really good. Like, yeah, there's a lot of sugar involved, so this is not something I can make with any kind of regularity. But, mmm. And you know what? The powdered sugar in the glaze that I was worried about, unless you get like a big glob of the glaze, it's not bad. Oh, that's really good. I also very much love cinnamon. I don't think I used to love cinnamon, but I love it now. Oh my god. I think what also makes me very excited is, you know when you get a cinnamon roll, and you like, for me, how I eat a cinnamon roll in the past, was you eat the outside of the cinnamon roll, and you like eat your way to the center in the little, little, little bit, the little kind of doughy bit in the center. I would always save that for last, and that was the last piece I would always eat. This, even the outside. Oh my gosh, you scared me. Precious cinnamon roll, eating a cinnamon roll, how quaint. Oh, thank you, that's very kind of you. Um, thank you for your kind words, and also for your bits. I appreciate both of them very much. Um, but, but this is like, like every part of this is like the center of the cinnamon roll. It's just really, and really good. It's just really good and soft, like it's so soft. Mm. Like the outside has that, because of all that, all that butter that seeped around the outsides, the outside has been like fried in butter. <laughs> and it's not hard or crispy. It's just soaked with butter. Which is really good. Wow. It will be very easy to overdose on sugar from this. Ooh. Oh, I just got a blob of that cinnamon butter. This is real good. You guys. I think 
if I were to ever get to a point where I had enough money to completely support myself and I was like 70 years old, I just opened a tea shop. There was a place in Japan called Muff Muff that my sister loved going to. That was just this, this um, older lady who every day would go in and make muffins. And she would go there and get a pot of tea and some muffins. And that was, that was the day. And you know what? That sounds great. And she would close at like three. So she's like, I'm done after this. Bye. Like buy the muffins and leave. Mm. I'm so glad this is good. I was so worried it was going to suck. Gluten-free baking has come such a long way in such a very short amount of time. Because I was actually, this not gluten-free, I was actually um, vegetarian, almost vegan for like five years. Um, variety of, you know, I saw a PETA video when I was like 13 and that ruined me. And then, because I hadn't really thought about like, oh, animals <laughs> are living beings also. Um, and then um, it got kind of extreme and then I almost went to veganism for like two years. I was very close to being vegan. Um, and then there was just nothing available in that category. And I can only imagine that around the same time, gluten-free was the same. Um, and uh, like having seen that, because I had friends who were gluten-free when I was in college, like in my early years of college. So then like kind of trying to look for gluten-free things, it was not impossible. And now there's gluten-free everything. And um, it definitely makes you really happy when recipes turn out well that don't have those stereotypical ingredients in them because you know I grew up eating normal quote-unquote food um, so uh, yeah this is this is really exciting I'm really glad that it turned out good well the butter provided a protective coating to prevent it from drying out mmm well I well glad I speak eats could understand her with a mouthful <laughs> I know, sorry, I talk when I eat. I, I would apologize more, but I know that I've done it enough times now that if you guys were really upset, you would tell me. Whoa. Oh. I'm gonna need a Boobs McBalrog line. Boobs McBalrog, can't even say my own username, right? Boobs McBalrog line of baking goods. I would love to. I would love to do that. Ooh! <laughs> Twitch lover one 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 one. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Um, muff muff. Well, your brownies turned out better than you thought they were gonna. True, but I wasn't intending to make those gluten free. <laughs> those were like a, a Bob Ross happy accident kind of situation. Still ate them. Still good, but not what I meant. I'm more excited about this one because the texture is there, like. A cake texture is present because in a lot of gluten-free stuff because it doesn't have the like floury bindingness that you know flour is very like um, gummy it's got a very um, um, that's the only word I can think of it's like a very gummy chewy texture gluten-free things don't have that they don't have that kind of binding aspect to it um, so a lot of gluten-free stuff can have like taste all right but the texture is weird but this the texture is there it's sweet, it's it's warm, it reminds me of the inside of the cinnamon roll, which is my favorite part. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just really good. It's really good. Muff muff? Muff muff sounds like what happens when you put too much muffin in your mouth. Try to hold conversation while chewing. Basically. Bob Ross, when you win. I don't know. I had a roommate. Um, my roommate, they gave me my dad too. <laughs> Nightbot. Nightbot? Oh, thank you. Oh, Talon. Thank you for gifting that uh, tier one sub to Nightbot. Nightbot like Nightbot or different Nightbot? I'm very confused. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah, we've been running for like two hours. With fear of being untasteful, I'm very curious whether there's a story behind your username. Or if you're just like a Lord of the Rings fan and that's it. Um, hot and tot. I appreciate you with your apprehension. Um, so now Nightbot can use emotes. Hooray! Uh, and have an ad-free experience. Um, 
Welcome to the Balrog Brigade! Night Bont? Bot, even. Um, so there is a story behind my username. I used to work at a lot of conventions. So long ago, like 10 years ago, um, I started working for a video game website. And I liked to dress up when I went to conventions, so I would go to conventions in costume, and if you go to enough conventions, you see the same vendors at various conventions. So I got to know some of these vendors, and they were like, hey, you're kind of already dressing in the aesthetic that we have at our booth. Do you want to work for us? We'll like fly you out, put you up, feed you, and you get paid to work here. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes I do. Um, and they were a lot of like steampunk booths and stuff. So I was wearing a lot of corsets and heels and walking around with my top hats on. And um, there was a armory because I also wanted to like be a metalsmith and make weapons. And that's like, honestly what I really wanted to do when I was younger. And um, I found this helmet and these big horns. There's a picture of it somewhere online. I don't know where, but um, uh, I put that on while I was wearing this corset that made my waist super teeny. And of course, when you make one thing smaller, everything else looks bigger. Um, so, and I had this helmet on, I was like, wee big old helmet and I'm in my costume and everything. So someone was like, ha ha, boobs McBalrog. And I was like, that's funny. I'm gonna use that for my username. That was 10 years ago. <laughs> so I've kind of kept it since then. It was a joke uh, and I kept it and here we are. I don't prefer to be called boobs or boobs McBalrog. I prefer to be called Caitlin, but you won't know that unless you're in my streams for a bit. So um, yes, that is the whole backstory of boobs McBalrog and me and hello. Um, I, I am, um, I actually very quickly recorded something right before I did the stream. And if I have enough courage, I'm going to post it up on YouTube. It's just a sort of like, um, where I've been. I used to do vlogs on YouTube a lot, but I got very nervous about doing it and I stopped, um, just from fear and life and everything else. So if I get enough courage, I'm going to post that up. And then, um, you guys are free to ask as many questions as you want on that video about my past and what I've done and, um, what brought me to California from Indiana and all that stuff. And that is a perfect question that you can ask on, on this video. Not gonna lie, I'm actually curious how you breathe in a corset and maintain oxygen intake when diaphragm be constricted and stuff. It's hard, but it's doable. I have been in corsets and heels and top hats for 12, 10 to 12 hour days where you get up at like 6.30, 7.30 in the morning, do your hair, do your face, you get in your costume. The boots you put on before you put on the corset or otherwise you can't reach them because you can't bend. Um, it's a whole thing, but yeah, breathe through the lungs, not through the diaphragm. Precisely. And you breathe all up in here because you can't breathe down here. There's no room. It's also very hard to eat and carbonated drinks are not on the menu. Mmm. This is really good. Wow. I'm so pleased. We got to try all these chips. Got to make this cake. You guys are hanging out. It was so great. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around as I try and <laughs> do this stuff. It's hard. It's easy and hard, you know? I actually have had one person leave me speechless for the first and only time in my life and involved her in a corset. <laughs> Uh-oh. Was she just that sassy? I get real sassy when I'm in costume. Like, a lot. But that also has to come from the fact that like, I'm doing sales. I'm in a little bit different of an energy when I'm doing sales. So large boobs plus costume equals boobs make costume. Cool. I'll keep the name preference in mind. I understand that being referred to as boobs could be a bit, yeah. Not disappointed in the story though. Well, I'm happy that you enjoyed the story. Yeah, it's also a thing where like, I've had some pretty, pretty shitty experiences being a woman and being in like the nerd space and online and that kind of stuff. So it's one of those things where like using Boobs McBalrog as my uh, pseudonym online, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm a woman. All right. <laughs> like, shoosh. I know. 
That's okay. I thought it was funny that I was in this costume, and you know what? If you think it's funny too, and if all you're stuck on is the fact that it was a funny thing, then you don't really care that much about me. I'm a totally separate person from being a lady. Woman, female, whatever. Gender is a thing. <laughs> I was unexpected. We were both in the army station in Okinawa, Japan, and I had a, went to her room to ask her about something. She opened the door and of course it wasn't quite finished being tied up. Oh, goopy. Yeah, I've been in that place a lot. Like when I don't want to put in my corset and then I go all the way to the booth. And then I'm like in the booth being like, all right, lace me up. And you're just like, this is the last time I get a full breath for the next 10 hours. <laughs> but. Mm. That was delicious. I'm probably gonna eat another piece. But. I need to clean all this up. Or my roommates are gonna kill me. There are bowls and flour and stuff everywhere. For me. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was a lot of fun and I'm so happy that the cake turned out well. Uh, I just inhaled like three of my hairs. Anyway.